have this series on my channel where I spin a wheel to decide what happens to my sim. Like, essentially the wheel spin controls my sim's life. And, um, this series is a nightmare. <laughs> like, she ends up having to cheat on people, she gets dumped, she gets divorced, someone dies. Like, it just, it's a nightmare all the time. It's so much fun. I will link both of my past Let's Plays, I have two down below. But I also have, like, a wheel spin build and a wheel spin cast challenge that I've made. Like, I have a Google Doc, it looks like this, it's got a bunch of options, and essentially you use this and a random number generator to figure out what your sim needs to look like. And I haven't done one of these in a while, and I kind of like it because it sort of gives you like direction with creating a sim or building a house because sometimes you just like run out of inspo, you know? You're like, I don't really know what I want to build today. I don't know what I want my sim to look like. Well, if you do it this way, <laughs> the wheel decides. And so I call it a wheel, but really I just use like a number generator. I mean, if you just Google that, Google has one, so you can put in the min and max and then figure it out. And so today I want to play this wheel spin cast challenge, and I want to see what the wheel tells me to make my sim. I mean, there are a bunch of options here. You can use story mode, you can decide if you use CC or not, you can find out how old they're gonna be, if they're a vampire, <laughs> what their hair looks like, what their eye color is. It also has options for like their favorite color, if you want to like have a lot of yellow in their outfits. Um, it has like the style they are. Maybe they like pastel goth things or like <laughs> yeehaw is a style I put on here. And the fun of this is that you guys can like feel free to steal this Google Doc if you want, like download it, add things to it. I mean you can literally just like add as many styles as you want to this, like just insert a row below the table and, and keep going, you know? And I think that's the best part. <laughs> it also has like a thing they can't go without, so for example they wear the same pair of shoes always. In my mind that means like also when they're swimming and sleeping, <laughs> you know? Like it's just kind of dumb, you can just mess around with it. I really enjoy this challenge. So like I said, we're gonna give it a shot. So I've got my game up here, we've got a random sim, and now we're gonna turn her into something else. <laughs> we're not gonna use story mode or anything for this, I wanna just randomize her traits and aspiration with the wheel. But we will figure out how old she's gonna be <laughs> before we get started here. So we're gonna figure out her age and sim type, oh my god. All right, one to four, this is gonna be how- oh, not 54, oh my god. This is gonna be how old she is. Two. Young adult, that's boring. Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and then again to find out what a cult type she might be. I don't want her to be in a cult. Oh no! <laughs> a vampire! God! Sorry, that was aggressive. I- she- we got three. She's a vampire. <laughs> this is not fair. You guys know that I hate vampires. I- this is the worst day ever. I think vampire- oh my god. I think vampires are my least favorite- okay. <laughs> We got a yeehaw vampire already. These are like my least favorite occult type in The Sims. I just, I personally prefer to just play without occults in the game. I don't like hate them or anything, I don't really care, but I just personally don't like them that much. <laughs> it's okay, I'm fine. This is, I'm fine with this, okay? I'm like totally fine. I love vampires. Now this also has an option to randomize the hair and eye color. I might just randomize it in the game. <laughs> Sorry, this yellow. Oh, wait, I didn't realize I had it so zoomed in. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I was going to say this yellow lipstick makes her look like a duck a little bit, but that's okay. That's fun, you know? Shall we randomize her hair? <laughs> we can change the style. We'll let it keep that color though. We should randomize her eye color too. Green? Should we pick the scary vampire eyes? No, we won't. We'll let her keep the- she can keep the ones she randomized. That's fine. She's gonna look so sweet. Like, we can make her all sweet and innocent for her regular- person and then we make a dark form and she's gonna look terrifying. I can't wait. I haven't made a vampire in a long time. Maybe this is a blessing. Maybe I'm excited. But now this is where it gets interesting. We're gonna figure out her favorite color and her style. This decides what she actually is gonna be like, you know? So let's put in 10. 1 to 10. Generate. <laughs> okay, 4. Favorite color is gonna be green. Oh, it's gonna match her eyes. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> and then style 9. Oh no, what is that? Colorful. Oh, I was kind of hoping for yeehaw. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe next time. <laughs> so she'll wear a bunch of bright colors, but also green. That doesn't really make much sense. You get the vibe though, right? Into bright colors, in the color green. <laughs> now, the thing she can't go without. So an item she's always going to wear. <laughs> Six? A hat! Oh, that's perfect! Okay, see, she's gonna be a real weirdo. I, I like the idea of her wearing this hat literally all the time. <laughs> like I said before, when she's sleeping, when she's swimming, the hat stays on. And it makes sense because she's a vampire, so she's like trying to protect herself from the sun. It works. It works real well. This is gonna be so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Now, I'm gonna pick one last thing before we do the rest of these. These things like social life and her traits will do at the end, but I want to pick out what her fun quirk is. There's a lot of these. It's things like lives off the grid or like 
like, dreams of being a painter but isn't very good. So there's some simple ones, but there's also some kind of dumb ones, like, keeps the lights in their bathroom red, don't ask why. Like, <laughs> obviously if you play with this challenge you can add more if you want, but I have 25. And we're gonna pick- we'll just pick a random one here. 21! Okay, what do we got? Technophobe refuses to use most electronics. Honestly, this kind of works. Like, for a vampire sim? who always wears a hat and hates technology, like, I'm into it. Okay, <laughs> let's make our, our green-loving sim here. Should we name her? Let's name her. Macy! Oh, Macy Ballard. I like that. That's cute. Okay, I gotta change her hair. I can't, we can't, I can't with this one. I just, I can't. <laughs> I don't like any of the vampire's items. I'm sorry, I can't deal with them. The hat will also cover her scary vampire ears. It'll work out well. She's just trying to hide her true identity, you know? <laughs> I said it would hide her scary vampire ears. Meanwhile, they like full-on clip through the hat. Okay, we'll have to fix the ears. Okay, can you stop that, please? Some people. Read the room, Macy. I want her to be really pale. It makes sense, you know, vampire doesn't go in the sun. I like the vampire ears. I think they're fun. I might give her these so they don't poke through her hat. We want to hide her identity very nicely. Why does she look like a vampire from Twilight? I haven't seen Twilight in a long time. I just, I'm getting like familiar vibes. <laughs> she wears a rain hat all the time. Okay, honestly, that's the kind of weird that I'm looking for. <laughs> we could go more simple and like give her a beanie, but that's boring. And her ears clip through this. Yeehaw! <laughs> I think I like the idea of one of these. I mean, if the goal is to protect her from the sun, you know? Like, that's kind of what we need. Okay, wait, I kind of like this. I think she looks kind of cute. I gave her tights because I want to, like, protect her legs from the sun, you know, of course. I think she's a pretty sim. If you would stop, Macy. Again, read the room. <laughs> I think we can give her a more formal hat for her formal outfit. Something like this, maybe? <laughs> what if we went, like, all out and we gave her, like, a costume piece? Why am I not opposed to that? Why does it kind of work? If we give her, like, the right kind of fancy ball gown? I mean, for some reason, this is not the colorful vibe that we signed up for, but, like... <laughs> you know what? Maybe she's kind of weird. Maybe she kind of wear like, she, she, um... She's into thrifting, so she claims, but really this was her dress <laughs> from when she died originally, you know, and she's just had it for a long time, but she tells people it was thrifted. Maybe we should calm down. Maybe we should go a little bit more casual. <laughs> so the dress needs sleeves, you know? I mean, it's a vampire, <laughs> so. <laughs> Read the room! Oh, if she would just calm down, this would be so much easier. You don't need to start roaring at people for no reason. It's weird. Honestly, vampires have money money, so <laughs> we get a mosquito stuff hoodie. Wait, I'm having fun. I like giving her hats. How about that one? Is her sleepwear hat. I think it's good. See, the whole point of this was to make her wear, like, sort of ridiculous looking hats all the time. Obviously, there are, like, realistic choices for what you might wear to sleep, but I'm kind of thinking that we might embrace this and put her in a cowboy hat. It's like a bedtime ritual. I mean, vampires don't really sleep, do they? So, like, <laughs> she puts on her cowboy hat and it's time to party. <laughs> so stupid. Wait, maybe? Hang on, this might be good. Because she's just gonna hang out at home all night because they don't sleep. <laughs> she puts on a beanie and her headphones. These are just her comfies, okay? <laughs> Party time is when the cowboy hat comes out. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, the cowboy boots are not good. It was like kind of a fun outfit before the cowboy boots came out and now it's just bad. <laughs> Listen, who are we to stop her dreams? If this is what she wants, <laughs> this is what she can have. Wait, I love this dress. Can she wear this one? <gasps> yes. <laughs> no, that's really cute. No, I like that. That's good. All right, I think that works. I think she looks good. I really like her everyday outfit. I think this is cute. But you know, the dark form is where it gets more exciting. <laughs> no, see, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. I think she looks really good. We <laughs> put her in a full-on Grim Reaper costume. Or this, this could work. See, I say we tone it down a little bit for the vampires. <laughs> and by tone it down, I mean she's gonna wear this dress for every outfit. And I'm not kidding. Like, <laughs> you thought wearing hats was her thing? No, when she's a vampire, she only wears this dress. Honestly, this is really distracting. I wish that you would stop. I think this is a cute outfit. I think this looks really comfy and I'm kind of jealous of her and I want to wear it. Oh, maybe in her swimwear she can keep these flippers. All right, that's fine. I I'm, I can get behind that. I'm not sure vampires can swim, so she might need them. Not that flippers are really going to help you if you can't swim, but you know what I mean. If we had like adult-sized pool floaties, I would absolutely give them to her. <laughs> vampires don't get cold. They're cold-blooded, so she doesn't need a coat or anything. Okay, so those are all of her outfits set up. Now, of course, keep in mind, she hates technology, so hopefully we don't randomize any um, <laughs> technology-related aspirations, but her traits... Oh, 
creative, lazy, and erratic. Okay. <laughs> the next thing is social life. We're gonna randomize that quickly. There are five options. So, she's number two. She's got a few friends. Oh, that's good. That's good. She deserves some friends. I was worried about her. And then these are the aspirations all in order. There are 37. We can't randomize those very easily, so we'll let the number generator do it. Luckily, there's a trait randomizer button now. <laughs> Alright, but her aspiration is going to be 14. That's my lucky number. Master Mixologist. That that works, honestly. She's a vampire, only comes out at night. I feel like we should give her a snooty walk. That's just kind of the vibe I get from her. Oh wait, she's lazy. Maybe she could walk like this. <laughs> No, I like that. Okay. All right. But now last but not least are her career and where she lives. So you look at she's still walking back there. <laughs> there are 24 careers. Number one. Oh, she's an actor. That works. Listen, she likes to do some mixology in her free time, but she's an actress. Kind of like hides her little eccentric attitude, you know? Like, I'm not a vampire, I'm just a very talented actress, okay? <laughs> she like plays a vampire on like Twilight. It works. All right, where does she live? <laughs> there are 10 options. Number four, Lindenberg. Okay, no, I can totally get behind that. Yes. <laughs> Macy Ballard. You look great. I like this sim. I genuinely like this sim. I think she's pretty. I think I like her story. I never would have made her otherwise. Like that, you guys know, <laughs> I don't play with vampires really. But I'm kind of like into the idea of playing with her now. Like I'm like, maybe we could make her and then play with an actress sim that lives in Windenburg. Like that's why the wheel spin is fun. <laughs> if you're ever stuck for some ideas, you could end up hating the sim you get, but you also might like them and then be inspired to play with something different. So you know what? It's linked. <laughs> I'll also link my past cast challenge attempts down below. I think I have two videos like this on my channel. Maybe one, I don't remember. I've definitely done it before. So at least there's that. I'm gonna call this vampire with a secret. That's <laughs> so dramatic. Everything is not what it seems. Get it? Like the Wizards of Waverly Place theme tune? Okay. <laughs> I have to comment first. Oh my god. I better have gotten that. I'm gonna get upset if I didn't. Why is the gallery so broken? I'm trying to filter by newest. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Was I first? Was I first? Oh my, there's so many comments already. <laughs> what the heck? I can't even see my comment. Why are there so many comments? I was gonna delete people if they were before me, but I can't even find at my own, so... We're probably fine then. I think on that note though, I'm gonna go. If you try this, tweet me pictures because I'd love to see what your sims turn out like. I think that stuff is so fun. <laughs> but please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. Also follow me on Twitter. I'm kind of funny. I don't know. Like I, there, it's linked in the description box. You might as well. Lil Simsy on Twitter, on Instagram, on Twitch, all the same username. You could try and find me. It's like a game. <laughs> What? <laughs>